Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on rails and metal. Playing today's pointing in the south, we have Baton. Playing as Brits and immediately locking into to Vanguard. Teaming up with him is Material Jerry. Also playing as Brits, who has commandos, tactical support, and mobile assault. And self against him in the north, we have Fire and Terror. Playing as OKW. And his loadout is Overwatch. Elite Armoured. And Firestorm teaming up with him is Olvadi. Also, oh, no, playing as Ossia and has German Infantry. Miss Krieg. And Fortified Armour. In terms of rankings here, Ally is a random team. Uh, Baton around rank 40. Material Jury. Uh, around rank 20? Or maybe it's the other way around. I'm having trouble remembering that. And uh, Axis, a range team, around rank 140. MG42 sitting up there. Got some damage in long range with the Grenadiers. But so far, just a cap fist. Not too much combat. No uh, sandbags in the middle either from Material Jerry there. It is onto the munitions point, but now moving back behind heavy cover. Oh, already dropped a model though. That's painful. In comes double universal carriers. Looking to buy a bit of hurt here. MG trying to do some damage. We'll soften it up. Tommy's advance and Alvadi having to retreat there. Alvadi also going for a sniper at this stage. It's kind of interesting upon seeing the double UC. I feel like that'll be quite hard to use. Looks like he's getting a bit low here for fire and tear, but there they go. Locking into a commander. Going for firestorm. And the material Jerry also locking into commandos. Fires win the race to the building. Two section pulling back. The squad just waiting over here for a squad to charge in. Stern post getting forced away. This squad just trying to hold the line behind the heavy cover, but it's tough. The universal carry is ripping in. A lot of damage. Yeah, it's a good choice, I think. Fire and Terror going for a Rakitten. Maybe you could get away with not going for a kitten if you're just up against one universal carrier. If you're up against two, I think it's worthwhile. Especially, uh such a small map like this that doesn't have many sight blockers hard to hide from the universal carrier you kind of just have to deal with it you can't play evasively Enemy kills so far for the sniper universal carrier not committing though actually switching sides interesting i starting to push towards the fuel point box in the building holding out but not for too much longer, and Vickers getting upgraded now on the Universal Carrier. Sniper. Up to three kills now. Jumps out of the building. Nice sandbag on that side of the building as well by Paton. He's vaulting the fence there. Oh, and Faust connects with the Universal Carrier. Oh, but it got the Sniper! Well, there you go. Said it was a little bit risky going for a sniper. Oh, but the Rakitten finishes the job on it. The double universal carries around. And did end up going down. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> oh, no. Oh, buddy. What was that? Trying to wire off the squad inside the building, but he ends up losing it. We have a new sniper under our the process command. of putting down the wire. Am I going down for Ton? Good idea. Help keep Universal, Universal Carriers safe against a potential 2-2-2 rush. But we can see Olvadi rebuild the sniper, having to rebuild the 
suppose it'll be a long way off the tier 2 action. And yeah, Axis did lose control of their fuel for a decent amount of time here. Allies off to a strong start. AC coming in for Baton. Five man upgrade completed from Material Jerry. He's got the bolster. Sniper gets a shot through. Kitten over here with the sniper. Keeping tabs and another mine going down. Interesting. Alrighty, going for another green deer, and that is going to slow down the tick a long way. See about to pop out. Car completed. Oh wow, Fire and Terror going for the Opal Blitz. And bringing it out. So he's going to try to reinforce these Sturm Pios. I'm getting switching sides, looking for angle on the UC. Oh man, I thought that might trigger the mine as well. <laughs> Getting some good shots on infantry section getting forced away. The kitten also getting a bit low. Might pull that back to the Opal Blitz or maybe even bring the Opal Blitz across. And cast off a grenade. Oh no, that was the uh, HE grenade. On the Fox upgraded with the MP40s. Steam is a bit low still. And bullied away. Glider deployed by the Tom. Seven kills on the rebuilt sniper. Man, it's, it's doing really well over the last few minutes. Dodges that grenade there. Eight kills now. This is getting painful for Baton. Looks like he just completed the bolster there. You can use commandos to counter snipers, just like sneak forwards with the camouflage, try to get on top of them. So, uh, counter snipers, probably more straightforward. Sniper actually going for a shot on the UC there. And now Axis with the superior map control. Pushing up the allied fuel. Oh, Material Jerry going for a really late. AEC here, interesting. I guess he feels the need to try and chase down the open blitz. But yeah, this is quite a late timing for an AEC. Especially if you're not up against like any other like vehicles from the Allies. No looks. No Puma, no 222. The AEC's not super good against infantry. Can do a little bit, but generally I find it's not worth buying. Just going to be shooting at infantry with it the whole time. Okay, screen is closing the distance. Coming out a grenade. Oh, material Jerry. Oh, last, last second dodge. And the retreat path. Okay, nice work there. Smoking out the retreat. Hopefully, keep that alive. Some base howitzer of fire coming in in this heavy cover position. Energy is scattering. And a recon plane up from Olvadi locking into fortified armor. Not getting armor, but still has got the elephant. Shots. Should leave him kills now. Getting out on the road, taking a good chunk of damage. AC had to smoke to get back. But the uh, Opal Blitz working well for the Axis, helping them maintain this forward position here. With 
the triple cap at the moment as well. Allies are draining out fast. Already down by 100 VPs. Is that a mortar pit? It is from Baton. Quite far back. Know about that position. Feel, feels a tiny bit too far back. But alright, we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, fine tier. Did he not go for a Puma quite late? You can see he's got a bundle grenade. Doesn't look like I've got any wipes. But yeah, quite late Puma as well. Hundred fuel in reserve by this time this thing came out. Sniper has to retreat. Doesn't actually have uh, any medics back here though. Complaining up in the air again. Boomer pushing forwards, going for the AEC. Here it goes. I'm going for the universal carrier. And that goes down as well. Was that? It's like a squad of. Uh... Oh, AC goes down all the way up here. What? What was that? Was he going chasing after the Opal Blitz and he didn't get it? Oh man! Looks like a squad of folks, or maybe even two squad of folks, went down the process there, though. So, uh, not all bad news for the allies. Did lose both of the AECs. Picking up two wipes in return. And the glider's still standing as well, which is quite nice for Oof. The head's working well for Fire and Terra. Chasing down the road. Gets the wipe. The enemy have destroyed an engineer section. Tree going down for fire and terror. These tick trucks are maybe a tiny bit too close to each other, given that now we can see a commander with commandos and the air supremacy. Imagine that both of those would get hit by one air supremacy bombing strike. It'd be nice to split them up a little bit more there. chased away there. Let's put down the bunker but hasn't uh, ticked the medics yet, doesn't have the munitions for it either. And going for a, this is this the third recon plane so far from Olvadi? Yeah it does mean he's lacking medics and it's no good because those two retreating grandies are very low. I have to linger in base for a while Wait for the medics to upgrade. I suppose he could also uh, use the mid kits on the Grandiers, but super efficient in terms of munitions in the long term. Okay, here we go. Commando sneaking in on the sniper, getting quite close, very close, and there it goes. Really well done by Material Jerry. Well done. Very well done. I got done by a, <laughs> a maneuver like that. that was the last time I played Brits. I was a sniper and I got taken down by some stormtroopers by a maneuver like that. But yeah, you do have to sneak in to range, so it's a little bit harder to set up. Especially early on when there's not that many like craters around to provide extra pieces of light cover. But easier later in the match. Okay, if two section manages to get close enough to f fire off the uh, pyrotechnics there. And he has to jump out of the building. T gun coming through the center, but Obers are there. Charging head on here. Grenade in, good dodge from Material Jerry. And I 
dodging that grenade as well. Kind of threw it backwards a little bit, expecting the dodge. Decent idea from Fire and Terror. And now Ober's soft retreating, looking to get behind heavy cover so he can maintain this position. Just a little bit too outgunned there. 3v2. Maybe Ober's could pull that off once they're vet too. That's not the case here. Another recon plane coming in, and oh, that's a Brumbeer for Alvadi. Some damage here. Do you have these mines down? Brumbeer has to be a bit careful. But he does have a uh, pyre out, but doesn't have the sweepers. Very long munitions. Brumbeer going for the D crew here. Gets it. He's going to try to jump on top of it. Bumbi going for an attack round. Maybe he's going to jump on it now after that shot. And might actually be able to get the kill on the Brumbi here. He's got the reinforcement opportunity from the glider. Nope. Brumbi takes it down. The rifle grenade finishes the job. This is a good idea. And honestly, uh, no, probably not actually. Probably wouldn't have worked. But it was a good attempt by Baton, like, you know, staying off the T gun for a little bit of time there. Try and give it a, you know, the go in between the Brumbia shots. But ultimately, does get punished there. Baton uh, building a Cromwell now. And it is going to be feeling that AT gun loss. He put up to V2, only four kills, but he's actually been performing all right so far. Just closing the distance here on hold fire, but he lost the camouflage. The MG getting forced back, but yeah, the allies are getting low on VPs, down to 185 already. Telemine down here for Alvardi. Story here, no sweeper from Baton. No, and is Cromwell right there? Sniper up the back, fresh sniper, one kill now. Oh, retreats right over his own grenade there. You get hit from the Cromwell too. Using the Opal Blitz now for healing back at base. Perm coming in for the Cromwell, it looks like. Yeah, the allies do need the VPs quite badly, down to 159 already. They've been suffering. Oh wow, we've got a Centaur from Material Jerry and a second AT gun, okay. So he wants to shoot down those recon planes. Centaur does perform okay against the Puma, it's just can't really keep pace with it. Nice attempt there. Decent shot off on the sniper. We got lucky, could have been the wipe there. Okay, Centaur. Closing in. Come up on the side, taking some damage. Nova's on the retreat. Will be back up to full strength. Coming back out. Centaur doing some nice damage to the Puma there. Puma missing his shots. Making uh, full advantage of its range. And we're taking some damage here as well. Ooh, getting very low in fact. Still in range. That's away. Okay, nice. Nice have to fire clearing out the machine gun there. Trying to maintain this range. It's bouncing quite a few shots off the Centaur. Do have the AT gun nearby for Material Jerry, but not bringing it forwards to support yet. Going forwards for some ready. more damage. Yeah, oh. Yeah, if he set that uh, AT gun up a tiny bit earlier, might have been able to get the kill there. MG covering the fuel, but that does give Material Jerry the opportunity. 
to capture the VP here, and they do need it. Down to 130 now. Pack finds the hole. That could be the end. Pack needs to land the shot. And he does. He can use the uh, target weak point for that shot. Eight kills on the sniper already, so been doing well since he rebuilt it. Alvadi oh, just about there for another tank. We're going to see a panther, or is he going to go straight for the elephant? Still about one and a half command points away from that. Oh, we'll be coming forwards. We've got quite a few AT guns around here. And Baton calling in the strafing support. Pushing forwards with Cromwell here. Oh, and I think the uh, machine gun planes there triggered the mine. Quite a lot of damage onto the Bundia from the planes as well. Oh, the T gun going to go down to these Obers. I was lobbing out a grenade, but the and Jerry paying attention. Look at that on the road, taking a lot of damage there as well. Now, a second squad of Obers for Fire and Terra. I'm not going chasing. Looking for the white third squad of Obers for Fire and Terra. Smokes out the raquette and pulling back with the Cromwell. Cromwell quite low. Puma looking to chase in, perhaps. Takes one AT gun shot. Takes a second. Gets out. The raquette is sneaking forwards. So maybe could look for a flank on the Cromwell. Or maybe even go for the kill. And the AT gun. That's here's what he's going for, but. Probably lost sight of it now, has to push forwards a little bit more. Got a, another glider of commandos coming from Material Jerry, a little bit further back this time. There we go. Persistence pays off there for Fire and Terror. Oh, but the mortar pit landing a nasty shot. We'll be close. Running gun action. Oh man, how is it not going down? There it is. Oh, it was a good move for Fire and Tear up until that mortar shell landed. And down goes the kitten. Material Jerry going to be able to pick that up. So gets another shot in. 12 kills now. He complained up in the air. Nothing yet from Olvadi, so it looks like it's going to be the elephant next. Very strange to still see this building. It's such a matter, high amount of health this deep into the match. This thing's been flattened about five minutes ago. Oh, it takes two shots from the pack, has to get out. So the bomb is ready for some more action. Here we go, Elephant called in instantly. We'll be coming forwards, but a T gun there to meet us. It's two shots through the armor as well. Double overs are just shredding here. Brick team doesn't really have a super strong answer to them. Has to deal with them with the vehicles. No rocket artillery available. For double Brits either, so it could be an issue for them as the game wears on. They're going to have to make the armor plays count. And man, they are long VPs. Triple cap against them, ticking under a hundred here. I'll just try to sneak on to the VP. Fire and Terra calling the GG. We have 75 points remaining. Okay, Panther in to Fire and Terra, joining the Elephant. 
A lot of access on in one small area. Ooh, good ambush here from the commandos. And the Axis infantry in the center. Come out worse for wear. Open up the capture there. I think spinning around here. Gonna take some damage in front of the double AT guns out. Popping smoke. No attack rounds there. Okay, there it goes now. A little bit late for missing. Ooh, and a hits are coming in now for fire and terror. Actually, that might be a decent idea against these commandos. Just pour out the flames. Not be able to camouflage that effectively against them. Oof, not quite enough damage to result in an engine critical. If it pulls back. Some tour out the back, shooting down the recon plane. It'd be a decent idea if maybe we could see like one AT gun come over here along with the Centaur clear out this VP. Look for the capture. What is that coming in? A command tank for Alvadi, okay. Axis army size is quite large on both both of those players. A decent sized lead over the allies. The allies with two VPs at the moment. Incoming, yes, they're kind of they're kind of holding on to the territory. They let's see if they can hold on. They're pushing, pushing forwards. All oh, the access text run for appears. Ooh, Obers. Do get away. Oh man, that's a lot of health damage from the Hitzer. Knocking down the flank a little bit there. I think he was looking for the sniper, but that does get away. So does the Cromwell. Didn't take engine damage. MG having to get out. The Hitzer also pulling back from the AT gun close to the center. Double AT guns forwards, in fact. Over's coming in. But, uh, outnumbered. Looking to throw a grenade. And might actually connect. Yep. Four models down from one squad there. Second squad of Obers coming through. Commandos out back for healing and reinforcements. It's a bunker busting barrage long range from Olvari. Trying to open up the capture here. Got a sniper for Baton. Looks like he's finally going to go for the counter sniper. Would pay, I think, maybe to get a little bit closer. Maybe like around here. And uh, go for that counter snipe opportunity. I think this is a little bit too far back, but maybe worried about the recon play. Over that did get shot down immediately, so I don't think his sniper actually got detected. And Material Jerry making an interesting play here, going for a 17 pounder. Close to the center. Should be very effective against the Axis armor from that position. And the Axis, you know, they don't have any. Uh, Indirect fire themselves, no infantry support guns, no rocket artillery. So dealing with this 17 pounder is actually a pretty big headache for them. I think this 17 pounder is a good choice. Okay, sniper coming forwards. Or a sniper also forwards. Oh, gets it just before it gets out of range. Well done by Baton. This is about to be a big surprise for the Hitzer. Okay, misses first shot. Frontier might have noticed what was up there. That was a large caliber. Wow, did a squad just go down to the uh, base howitzer fire? Frontier coming into the center again. Here comes the hits. Uh, oh, Panther coming in. And now Panther in some trouble. Bounces that shot. I don't know. Would that have been a kill? Hard to tell. 
Puma getting aggressive coming around the corner. Really wants to get that centaur kill. Back. Infantry pushed through the center here. Oh, the heads are doing some nasty damage. Infantry section down for material Jerry. Once again, allies in trouble. Many VPs under their control. Puma coming right around the corner. Oh man, but it took a main gun crit. And then goes down to the six pounder. 17 pounder dishing it out to the elephant. It's a lot of repairs and only one pioneer for Alvardi to repair that with. Trying to spring their ambush. Put up the caption in the center. Hits is there. 17 pounder doesn't have an angle. Neither does the Rakitten. Run around trying to avoid the flames. At least get the neutralized here. Axis R capping on the right. Which section doesn't get in there for the stall. A grenade instead. Now he's having to go for neutralize. 21 VPs. Commando staying in there. Determined to get the cap off. There we go. Oh, 17 pounder. Did he pop the... Yeah, he popped the piercing shot. Commandos have to get out of there, unable to get the cap off, but does get the kill on the hit, sir, thanks to that. That's what you get at VIT-1, that ability. It allows you to shoot through buildings like the uh, Pack 43 Calls in the strafing support to cover the center. I think that Tom wants to go for the crocodile, but doesn't realize... Oh, man, dropping the bombs in the center as well. Supremacy. <laughs> overkill. I think maybe Baton didn't realize you needed uh, hammer or anvil to get the crocodile. Let's nice take that. Like a barrage coming through for fire and terror, trying to stop the capture. The engineers determined and do manage to complete it. Here come some grenadiers. Takes a good chunk of damage, but maybe can stay on the front lines with the infantry section there for healing. Nothing switching sides here. 17 pounder with the piercing shot could be pretty nasty. Just out of range of it at the moment. Still looking for another kill on the recon plane. Double over is going for the far left VP. Two VPs remaining for the allies. But they're in a pretty good position. Fire and Terror having lost his last squad of Fox Grenadiers, Hetzer, and Puma. Now actually has a pretty small army size going for another Panther. Nadi is still with a pretty large army, but having a bit of trouble pushing in here against the opposing British sniper. In the infantry sections. Crossing barrage into the central VP region. Pack under threat. We are coming forward, but the AT gun is there. And maybe Alvadi looking to save. Oh, probably taking a lot of damage here. Popping smoke, charging forwards. But this uh, six pounder, highly vetted. Maybe the sniper could go for a critical shot on it here. Mante coming in. Okay, a T gun goes down. Wumbia in trouble. One more shot needs to get through, but the Cromwell missing. Found to penetrate as well. Oh, but the six pounder recruit finishes the job long range, and the command tank goes down, charging forwards. Maybe looking to smoke off the AT gun, help the escape of the Wumbia. And now, oh, that is very bad news for the Axis. And going for a super deep air supremacy. Going for those two tech trucks, which are quite close together. Mm, looks like not much collateral damage actually hitting that mechanized regiment. 
suppose it is coming from uh, interior Jerry's side of the map rather than Baton's. And here's the crocodile for Baton. D crews the AT gun quite quickly. You've got a Werfer coming through. Oh, Grenadiers go down for Vardy. Elephant out here dishing out the hurt. Looks like he already used his target weak point. Might not be able to get the killing blow here. And this is where maybe the uh, spawning clips are superior to the recon plane. Might have been able to get one or two more shots off on the crocodile with the spawning scopes. The complaint is getting constantly shot down by the centaur. Here we go, double panthers coming forwards for fire and terror. But you have to consider the 17 pounder not changing directions quite yet. Double panthers charging forwards, but we got a comet here now from the terror Jerry and triggers the mine. Oh, this is going horribly wrong for fire and terror. Elephant pushing forwards though, crocodile having to pull back. One of the panthers very low with the main gun critical. Riffle Barrage coming through, but doesn't quite get the decrow on the AT gun. And the 17 pounder now ripping into the Panthers on retreat. Both of them go down. Riffle pulling back. It hasn't got much damage done at all. Okay, Comet. Oh, taking a big hit. Comet just left out here. Oh boy, and there it goes. Almost to the elephant. Boy, did not sweeping backfire on fire and terror there. The Panther push getting shut down fast. It's not down there. We do have a Vickers covering the VP, so it'll be tough for the Axis to capture that. Okay, a, a Puma coming in for fire and terror. The Axis. Getting desperate here, just want to drain off those last two VPs. Maybe a little bit too desperate. Last assault. A bit reckless. Close to the uh, vetted up 17 pounder as well. <laughs> That's the thing with those big guns, the 17 pounder, the Pack 43. Oh man, they dish out some crazy DPS. You know, the highly armored targets. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Hives okay, trying to sneak forwards, but sniper Enemy spotting, machine gun suppressing. Both them coming forwards, and we've got the worth of the air looking to go for the machine gun, I imagine. Oh, and gets the wipe. Doesn't manage to get the neutralized on the VP. Oh, and the squad goes down on retreat too. It's a little bit unlucky. Not if I'm pushing forwards here. Maybe looking for the crocodile. Puma coming forwards with the smoke, but we got the commandos in the center blocking the capture. Axis are capping on the far side, but unable to get another VP under their control right now. goes down there for Alvari. Cromwell coming in for a flank on the crocodile. I mean not on the crocodile, on the elephant. Takes down the Werfer. Was thinking about backing away there but decides to keep diving. Worried about taking the Faust I think but the squad going for the Faust dies too early. And now the elephant isolated, no support. Getting circled by this super quick Cromwell. Get three. Nothing he can do about this here. Off in the smoke. Bounce crocodile coming in from the other side though. And he's spinning around. Green is trying to go for the capture behind this elephant falling. And Cromwell and the crocodile are going to block the cap. Didn't manage to get the center and the axis throw in the town. That was a pretty big turnaround there from the Allies. They were down and out, but I feel like the 17 pounder really turned things around. Good positioning on it, covering both the center and the right 
to a nice extent. Not some counter the elephant, worked well against the Panthers. Used the piercing shot to take down the Hitzer. That thing did a lot of work. Axis could have played a more steady game. Tried to build up their indirect fire. But uh, tried to go for the win. Tried to just throw units at the capping circles. Go for those last two VPs. Try and drain them out. And it didn't end up working out. GG. Uh, well played by the Allies. Managing to hold on there. Anyway, guys, I'll wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.